Hello, this is Heisenberg, and we're here to show and discuss all five X Plus gigantic Shin Godzillas, and we have special guests to help us out. John Ruffin of MyKaiju.com, and I'm, I'm the proud owner of the standard Shin Godzilla. And I have the Shonen Rick Boy Awakening version. Hi, my name is M, so I have the full red roaring version. Hi, my name is Ben, and I have the G Store exclusive Purple Shin Godzilla. Oh, wonderful. And you've all provided a little video. Hi, this is John, and I'm really uh, pleased. I love the uh, standard Shin Godzilla by X+. Plus. Uh, I love the detail above everything. I love his uh, stare, his uh, glare, uh, his, his, his focus. Uh, the eyes are amazing. The detailing is amazing, the teeth. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better representation of Shin Godzilla. Uh, everything about it is just amazing. Um, I was happy when X Plus decided, uh, announced its, its release not too long after the movie uh, had uh, been released. Uh, the, the stance is, is incredible. I love the, uh, the, lay, the powerful legs and the detail of the, the feet and the toes. The dorsal fins are amazing. Um, I don't you know, know any better representation of Shin Godzilla than what X Plus has done. And, and above uh, above it all, the uh, the uh, face and the detailing uh, well, yeah, here in the tail uh, is, is amazing. And what I love is the jaw of the, on the tail actually will move as well. Uh, and these are just some representations I did of uh, my figure. What I reason why I wanted the standard is I knew I could shoot it more for toy photography and and get more out of it over the long term. Um, and so I'm always thinking about new ways to capture it. Uh, and um, if it's it's one to have, if there's any Shin Godzilla you want in your collection, it's this gigantic X plus Shin Godzilla. Oh, absolutely. Here's the Shonen Rick Boy Awakening version. So um, yeah, I'm I, just like John. I am very very uh, you know happy and lucky to be able to have this figure. Um, the reason I went with the Rick Boy version is um, that opening mouth of this, you know, the split mouth is like just really unique. And it had the, the two tone color, the purple and the red. And it also comes with an extra head, which I'll show you uh, in a moment. It's the same as the uh, closed, the standard version with the closed mouth and the stare. Um, and um, again, like the attention to detail that X Plus has done is just absolutely stunning. Uh, um, other than the um, the Kyoto, I can't really think of any other um, Shin Godzilla out there that's uh, you know as good. So um, this one also has the silver uh, eyes, where when uh, Shin Godzilla shoots out his uh, purple beam, his um, it kind of protects his eyes, I guess, from damage. And um, uh, my only complaint would be is I think the purple here is a little too light. I, in the movie, I think it was a little more. Like a, like a deeper purple. So, but uh, on camera, it actually uh, shows up well because I think the material is like um, kind of like a white translucent material. So when the light reflects on it, it does um, bring out the, the, the uh, purple color uh, quite a bit. Um, what else? So um, just in person, if you don't have too much light shining on it, it does look appear to be a little white. So um, I'm curious to see, um, you know, Ben's uh, upcoming purple uh, only version. And it looks like we have the roaring one from M. Hi, so my name is M. So uh, overall, so I own the roaring version, the full red roaring version. I don't know if this limited edition, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it I is. Just, <laughs> yeah, okay. So I just recently started and then I didn't expect this version at first. So I was expecting to get the your version Jeep oh, Rapper. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the red, the red and purple boring yeah. version, right? Yeah. But uh since this comes first, so uh, I would take this. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. This is the G Store exclusive purple edition of the Shin Godzilla. So there was two releases. They released one on November 3rd, and there was a raffle for this figure done on the 27th through 28th, which is how I got this figure. So um, this Shin Godzilla comes with a tail stand, and the tail came in two pieces. 
And some of the things I like about this figure is that, like, I've seen with um, the Rick version, there's, like, a little seam on the head because the head is replaceable. But on this one, it is kind of hard to see it. And I believe it's slightly taller than some of my other Gigantics and some of the other Shin Godzillas. And it scales really well with the 25 centimeter second form and the 30 centimeter third form. The downside is that this is a limited piece to 500 pieces and sometimes I believe it's too purple in some areas but I think some of it was an improvement over the Rick version and some of it actually is not that great compared to the Rick version like it's not as red as it should be. Oh, All right. that's great, guys. So on the right is the standard version, like photographed by Rich Iso of uh, Fresh Vinyl Reviews. Uh, on the left is G Forever's Rick, Rick exclusive version. And you can clearly see the seam on in the photo, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you look at it, one big difference is like looking at the neck. On, on the uh, Rick exclusive version, the purple, you get a, yeah, there's a big uh, visible seam. Uh, there and yeah it, on the standard version it looks like there, you can kind of see where yeah the head was like glued on but it's a very like it, unless you look for it unless you look for it I don't think you really see the uh, the seam there yeah you can see it at the top uh, the back of the head at the top where the first dorsal fin kind of uh -huh. yeah right right yeah okay. you can see on the top right here yeah. you know I would add that the mouth on the photo is much more closed than what I have. My, I can see inside the mouth and see the detailing. I mean, yeah. it, from every angle, it's open. I mean, you know, you know, it's still open. It's just not fully open, obviously. But that's interesting to see Rich's photo and see how closed. I mean, it looks really compressed. Yeah, it does. So, John, um, I believe there were multiple issues of the standard version, if I'm not mistaken. There was one that was... The first run, which I believe the box was either two pe like two boxes and people complained about the shipping and then they had like a second run where they fixed that problem. Which um, do you know which one like which batch yours is from? I, I had to have had the second batch. Second batch. One, okay. box. Yeah. one box. OK. Yeah. So that that could be it could be a variation from a v initial release versus maybe the second batch um, release. So very, very, very cool. But yes, I think same as yours, like the, the close mouth that I have on the second head is uh, a little bit more open. You can see like the tongue and, and the insides of the of the mouth and the upper parts as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So one other uh, thing to notice uh, about the difference is like, yeah, on the standard, you've got the eye open with like the pupil. Yeah. It looks like he's looking down. Looking down, yeah. On the Rick exclusive, he's, he's, uh, the, it's sort of like a, uh, the eye is covered up. Yeah, it's a nice shiny silver. Here's comparing like the uh, again. This the is roaring. Rich Iso's standard on the right, and then uh, M's uh, roaring on the left. So is oh, nice. uh, I have a question for both of you because I, I really love um, you know the the roaring one and the also roaring. the standard one, which I I really regret skipping them. But I was, at the time I'm like, all right, I just spent like a good grand on this one. I don't know if I can spend mm -hmm. another grand and also find right. the space, but. Um, but uh, for you guys, like um, looking at the photos, uh, there's the standard like very red because uh, in the in the production photos, I think the standard uh, was more black, but it looks like the uh, the real you know the real uh, the real version actually looks more accurate. And same with the roaring one, it looks like this one has uh, in the mm -hmm. photo, it looks like there's more <clears throat> black, but the red is really sharp. Right. Yeah. It to me it appears I I don't in person is not very red at all. Oh, it's not very the red light, at all. Okay. No, it's it's more of the, the you know the black or the charcoal gray. I mean, oh, okay. you, you see I can see the red, you know, in the tail in between the uh, dorsal fins. Yep. But what you see on screen is not what I really see. I see. You know, I it's see. Much darker. Okay. It, so it, you, it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you, so John, you're saying that the photo that um, uh, that X Plus put out is more accurate than what we're seeing on uh, on the screen right now. I think so. Okay. Okay. How depending on the angle you're at and the amount of light you use, you'll see the red. Yeah. But it really is conditioned by the, the quality and angle. The light. light 
Okay, and same with you, M. Is yours is yours red like? Yeah. What you're Let seeing? me show. Sure. Let me show you guys a little bit since uh this figure is too big. So, so I think so. I agree with John in real person. So I think this is not like super super red, but overall is perfectly red. Yep. And here's nice. all the details mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. The tail too, nice. The tails, yeah, yeah and the mount, the mount brush. I mean, wow. like inside the mount. Yeah, yeah. So open mouth is really nice. You know, open mouth is. I Thank wish I you. had open mouth for some. To take I know. Yeah, so here's another photo. This is, again, the exclusive version that Chief Forever owns on the left, and then Ben's uh, purple version on the right. So how's the, the seam on the head look for you, Ben? It actually is, like you said, it's kind of hard to spot it out unless you're, like, looking for it, right? And yeah, nitpicky about it. But it's pretty good, I dare say. It's hard to see from a distance, so that's kind of all that really matters to me. Oh, wonderful. And then, uh, as I said, your version, it's, it does look like it's all purple. There's no red on it. Yeah, it's completely purple. There's some spots that are, like, way too darn purple for my liking. But, <laughs> yeah, especially around, like, the, the legs and, like, the body in general, the body, the legs, the tail. It's really, really purple. So is it is it more, like, painted purple, or is it still that, like, clear vinyl with the paint from the inside? So for the body, that's yep. not like inside that one neck crevice. Like, yep. it's it's like painted purple. Painted purple. Okay. And how do how do you like the purple? Like, is does the purple match, or does it? Or sometimes like there's some spotting where where the purple is just. You said there's too much purple. So it matches pretty decently, but kind of wish it didn't have that uh, <laughs> purple. But yeah. I would say it's pretty good for what it pretty is. Good. Okay, cool, cool. So let's look at a few other angles here. Uh, like the mouth, like one thing I noticed, so here's like the open mouth. So on the left is Chief Forever's uh, exclusive version. On the middle is M's uh, roaring version. And on the right is uh, Ben's, the, like the all purple version. The purple on uh, on the on, on the all purple edition that Ben owns, it does look kind of like it's more of a... Uh, clear like a clear right. yeah yeah more like a uh yeah more clear with sort of like the purple underneath so it's more so it's a little more subtle yeah and i, I think the the subtlety that they did inside the mouth was actually pretty good i actually think it's screen accurate because of the other shin godzilla i had i had the sh awakening version and kind of mm -hmm. similar to that so i thought maybe that one was a little more screen accurate compared to mm. the, the one uh g forever has because it looks mm. it's a little uh, like more opaque yep yeah i guess like i guess when you're charging up or when the fire beam is uh, is about to happen it is more like glowing so maybe you're you might be right on that like that uh translucent uh material kind of uh, imitates that glowing um mm -hmm. like light emission Whereas I guess the one I have is they, they actually just pa like painted it so you can see all the details. So I guess that's the, t the two main differences. One is probably more uh, screen accurate. One is more for the detail. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I'm curious about the teeth, too. I think the teeth are a little yellowed. Like on, on M, is your, are, are the teeth more white or more yellow? I would say it's a little bit yellow. And also... Yeah. Noticing that I think on G Forever's shin, his teeth has like some sort of like dark brown. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's like a two tone. It's it's actually if you're looking in person, it's very like it's more of a tan color. I'm not sure if it's a, is it yellow or tan because mine's more like a tan. It's not really yellow, uh, but especially on the upper teeth, um, I guess the lower teeth too. It is like a two tone color. Yeah, compared to mine, mine is like just that one single, single color. Yeah. So I think yours actually looks a lot better than mine. Mm. Okay. Oh, you got a. You want to weigh in, M? Does it look like uh like the teeth are a single color or more like kind of two toned? Two tones. Okay. No. Yeah. No. Oh, cool. Okay, and then uh, like another big uh, difference in these is the tail. The tails. Yep. The tails. Yeah. yeah. So again, so the top left here is uh, on G Forever's uh, exclusive version. 
and then on the right is uh, is uh, Ben's all purple version, and then on the bottom is uh, M's M's version. So I I have a um, quick question here. Like it looks like mine has more of an open mouth for the tail, um, and Ben's looks closed. Um, how about how about M's? Is yours open or closed? Let me take a on look the tail. one more time. Yeah, and John, how about you? Did you say the the mouth the tail actually clips on and off, or uh, you know what? I was I think I confused it with the coyote. Oh okay. Um, uh, but let's see here. So I I don't know if you guys can see. So it looks yours looks open. open. Yeah, opened a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is closed, but there's gaps where you can see into it a little bit. Interesting. Very interesting. Mine mine really does look open. Mine is pretty close. Pretty um, closed. Yeah. So there's another, it looks like there's another difference. So that's another reason why you need to uh, get them all. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah, I think for me, like, um, I was having a really hard time deciding between the standard and the Rick Boy version because I really wanted the, the, like, a red Shin Godzilla and the painted version. This is before mm -hmm. the Roaring one was an option. So, um uh, it was really tough because like all the other um, at the time, all the other Shin Godzilla figures weren't so detailed. And um, I think the, most of the time the mouths were closed. So I wanted like an open mouth one, but there was no in between. So that's why I chose this one. But I really wish the tail was painted. Uh, but because of movie accuracy, like that's why they had the like the clear translucent color and um, and like the, the purple color. So you don't get to see the detail um, uh, on either the standard or the roaring version that we have um, right now. So like from what I see from this picture, it looks pretty, or uh, your version looks really nice to you forever because it's like mm. uh, there's some black dry brushing. So yep, yep. those do pop out a bit. And as you can see over here, there's like some of the teeth are also white. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's actually really cool. And yeah. well, Mine is just like straight up purple. Just purple, yeah. Benjamin, yours seems to be perfect for uh, lighting it up, you know, having light yeah. inside. Yeah. So I've stuck some LEDs in it before. Oh, like, did you? I tried to stick some into the tail, but the tail had like some sort of like styrofoam weight thing inside it. So I oh, yeah the tail. However, I did have it inside the main body of the figure and it was pretty good. Nice. Yeah. So before we move on from the tail, uh, uh, so John, does yours um, is yours more of that bone color that we saw on M's, or is yours more like a oh like yeah, a same questions color? too. Same questions too. I was gonna ask earlier too with the John John's version. Yeah, I think it should be the same, right? It's it's the same. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. the same. But it doesn't seem to be well. Maybe it's the light. On the uh -huh. photo, it seems to be more gray, but it's, oh, it it's is gray. More, it's like a a red and gray. You know, it's, it's more. It's hard to. It's the the light makes it look look lighter than it really is. Okay. Yeah, because like from the from the camera and some shots, it looks like it's yellow. But when we see that close up, it really looks like a bone gray. Yeah. Yeah, so I know on the Kyoto, it, it was a little more yellowish. Okay. I think that might be more screen accurate. Yeah, I think so too. So, yeah, if we have time, I think if you guys, since both of you have the Kyoto, maybe you can uh, bring them over. <laughs> yeah, please. I want to see you too. <laughs> so now we're looking at the Kyoto uh, Shin Godzilla, which is actually the maquette that um, they use for the movie. Um, so this is as close as you know, you can get to the representation from the uh, movie CGI uh, Shin Godzilla. And I, I unfortunately don't have this. And, um, and like, uh, we're lucky enough, I did not know um, both uh, John and Ben has one. So maybe we can have a little uh, guest appearance with the Kyoto Shin Godzillas. So I think, um, so uh, John, you have the one that you can just buy out straight painted and I think Ben you got the kit and uh, you actually did the painting yourself yeah so because it was a kit everything was like everything came out it was like the back part the tail was in like I believe four or five pieces and um, 
the plates were not on. I had to put all the plates. On. Oh wow! Wow, <laughs> <That's>, wow. <laughs> must have been some work. It was. Oh my! But work. Experience, and it's like I probably like my Kyoto better than my um, gigantic Shin because okay. of the work that I put into it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Mm-hmm. That's cool though. Now you have a purple one and a red. Yeah. It's much lighter than the uh, X Plus for sure. Oh, it's lighter. Oh. Oh yeah, considerably lighter. It, but it's weighted. It doesn't feel like it'll fall out of your hands. Oh, that's yeah. but you can certainly lift it up much more easily. Mm. That's for sure. I can't really say too much about my version of the Kyoto Shin because mine was painted and it was a kit. It okay. To- it looks great. You did a great job. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, it looks awesome. It might be a little too black, but... Oh, no, that's great. So, and you said, John, you got yours. It came already assembled and painted? I did. I'll give you a little background. What happened, I, I had the privilege of being in Japan for the opening of Shin Godzilla. And I went oh, to Wonder wow. Fest, which was a week before. Yeah. And they had the whole Shin Godzilla, like, kiosk and booth set up. And they had the... Uh, the ten thousand dollar replica a uh, Kyoto or <laughs> or maquette, and I was just like floored. I mean, I made that. There's two of them, I believe. There's like a a gold one or colored one. Yeah, 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 gold yeah. one. That's, yeah, it's like oh wow. And but when I saw that they were going to release this, you know, much more reasonable, <laughs> reasonably priced <laughs> version, you know, I was like, I have to have it, but I missed out on it because it was pretty. It may have been a few months removed from the release. It was really quick. Yeah. And I missed that on opportunity to get it. And then I, it came back around, um, like it seems like it was two years later. And I got it through ha- uh, Hobby Link Japan. Oh, and no way. Okay. Yeah. And they kept asking me, Are you sure you're going to get it? Because it was so expensive. They <laughs> sent me a few emails. But this representation, I mean, I had to have something that's screen accurate. And to be based on maquette was like, yeah, this is the one. This is the um, one, yeah. It was pricey. Yeah, it was. Like, it turned out to be about almost thirteen hundred dollars yeah. with the shipping, everything yeah. said and done. Um, I have no complaints about it. The jaw does move a bit. Let me see. It's very. What I love it is very light. I mean, I just. Uh, mm. Yeah, it comes down really. Can oh wow! Look at that. Yeah. Does yours do that, Ben? Pretty amazing. Yeah, there's like a little. Um, a little wiggle. <laughs> cool. Oh, look. Yeah. Look at... Wow. <laughs> but you know, I love them both. Um, yeah. You know, I've taken a number of shots with this that you know that mimic um, shots from the art of Shin Godzilla. You know, from the back, yep. you can get some yep. very screen accurate shots. But then there's things about the gigantic from X Plus that's like you just can't get necessarily. Uh, that that you can't get with the Kyoto. There's up close mm. shots that I'd rather do with the X Plus than yeah, Kyoto. yeah. Because X Plus has a nice pose, whereas the Kyoto is just kind of that, you know, just that standing, standard. yeah, standard yeah. pose. We have <laughs> <laughs> a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a questions. Yes, Sam. So uh, between Kyoto and the uh, X Plus, so which one is more like details? Can can oh, can wow. you tell? I'm, I'm oh, wow because there are like little teeth on the top of the head. Mm. Oh, really? That aren't really. Oh yeah, yeah. Really on yeah. The gigantic shin. Well, it's because like like uh, G Forever and John said this is like what the original maquette was based off of so it's going to be more screen accurate wow but i I will say maybe it's the angle i'm looking at the uh x plus gigantic at you know the the sculpt seems to be deeper i mean the 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 details of the skin i mean there's a you can really see the detail the coyote was like very fine refined thin you know uh, it's very subtle. It's, it's excellent. It, it, the, and even the paint application seems to, it gives it a haze kind of mm. uh, to it. It's, it's not a stark or high contrast. It, it, it seems like it actually has a, when a light falls on it, it's like a very soft, 
gray. And, and it may have something to do with how deep the uh, sculpt is or how, how much, so it's very fine. It's like, it's like having a piece of China, you know, compared like you uh -huh. have a normal plate you use every day. This is one, you know, it's very, mm -hmm. very fine. Like a, almost like if it was a resin piece or something. Mm. A, nice. Oh, I think that's a good way to put it though. You say it's, it looks like like the X plus it is like has a little more contrast. Looks like they tried to like make it pop a little more. Mm. Mm. But they, they shoot differently. At least for me, they they and and instead of and the X plus, they get that you can really see the detail, and you can see it uh, certainly with the Kyoto. But they shoot differently for me. Mm. You know, it definitely um, the X plus is like just you know really has a lot of expression, more expression just because of the pose is more dynamic. Mm. And like you said, nice. the are pretty deep in the S plus version, whereas like the Kyoto one, it seems pretty subtle. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. The word subtle. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. And they are and they're like sized pretty well, like pretty. I guess the X plus is kind of looking down, but otherwise, are they pretty much the same same scale? I would say the same scale. Same scale, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, I think so. I would actually. You know what's interesting? Mm -hmm. yeah. My compared to the gigantic is slightly underscaled. Like, oh, yeah, because it's like the head seems a lot larger than the Kyoto. Well, could oh. You oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah. They they scaled up the head a little bit bigger on the X Plus. I, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. But I'll so there's less. Arms. There's more detail. Yeah. Mm. Even the nose, I can see in the sculpt of the of the Kyoto, the, the, right at the, I guess it would be the base of the nose or where the eyes, where it would join with the brow, it uh, sits out. It's more puffed up than the X+. Plus. It's You can see the differences in sculpt and the subtleties, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just in the face. I, I can, you know, there's the head of the Kyoto, it, it comes up a little higher than what they did x plus seem to you know push it down in certain ways which gives mm. it a good profile this is very much more screen accurate but this one has some a little bit more freedom and create you know create mm. expression to yep. think just subtle things a little more creative license which i do like especially for photography very cool. And as I as I can see from here, so on the Kyoto version, so the eyes has more red on it, right? Than the than the shin. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I think the gigantic for X plus is just a white eye, right? With the black pupil. And then uh, the Kyoto, I think there's some color to it. Yeah, there's some color, like around eyes, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, bloodshot eyes. Real bloodshot eyes, red. yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they both look super cool. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's, take, let's take a look more at the uh, Roaring one, since we spent a lot of time on, on the others. Let's go. Yep. So probably if if I can go back in time, this is probably if I can only pick one, I think I would have went with this one because it has both the red color and an open yeah. mouth. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but uh, you know. it certainly got a lot of emotion and like yeah. with the red, it certainly does pop too. It yeah. pops out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it even looks like it's lit up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't have any lights inside, Em, do you? No. No, it's just reflection. Wow, that's just that's really yeah. that's oh, yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah, so that's one thing I don't think anyone has really like a like a company has not produced a Shin Godzilla that's really glowing. Um, a lot of people have to customize their either their X Plus figures or or other figures and put uh, LED lights inside. Um, but this one, like, it looks like having lights reflecting off does simulate that glow, especially in this angle. This looks really good. Looks like moving lava. Yeah, yeah. So I think SH was trying to release a glowing version of Shin Godzilla <clears throat> K line, but I don't know what happened to that. 
figure. Yeah, yeah. You, is it is it that eight inch line? The um, I forget the the actual name, but they they had an eighty nine Godzilla. Yeah, that one, right? Yeah, I think they were doing a ninety five, and they were gonna do a Shin, but I don't. Yeah, like you said, I don't. They kind of disappeared on that. Yeah, because it was actually pretty cool. Because cool, like the Shin was actually like going from red to purple, so I thought that. Was, oh wow. Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty. Wow. Cool. That would be cool if they if they did that. Yeah. And, and can swap the heads out, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. Too. That would be awesome. Great. Yeah. Do we have a um a shot comparing like there's that one chest crevice thing? Because I kinda I wanna see what everyone's like looks like. Yeah, because like mine doesn't look like it's painted all too much. Mine, mine doesn't have like a lot of detail because it's just like completely purple and that like whitish. Yeah, mine, mine's similar to yours probably. Um, it's all white and then has like the purple um, on top. Yeah, because like as you can see in mine, there's like hardly any like black dry brushing. <clears throat> it just, just kind of looks plain. You actually, it looks like you have some uh black uh brushing because mine doesn't have any yeah mine's small pale and it's it's actually all white with the purple on top uh kind of like where the veins are oh okay wow that's quite the contrast yeah mm -hmm. that's surprising because i thought it would be the opposite because ben's i would think is more you know just more of that clear and blue uh whereas mine has more um paint but looks like they they swapped it for for some reason <laughs> yeah i would say overall my version is there's some stuff i like better than g forever's version but it's like vice versa there's like some things that i miss on g forever's version that aren't really like apply here yeah like, i will say like the inside of the mouth i like better but yeah like the purple kind of, in a way, looks a little childish. It's just like splattered on there. The uh, kind of purple they use looks kind of odd. It, it isn't anything like the movie where it's like a light purple. It's uh -huh. dark. And it's kind of, yeah. I don't, I'm pretty sure Shin Godzilla's arms doesn't have any purple when he's shooting his beam. And they're pretty purple. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think they just went with like a purple, uh, you know, maybe just they made a purple version or something. Because uh, I think I agree with you, Ben. I don't think he was like, he was primarily red. It was just some areas that was that were, were glowing purple. So um, if if I remember, yeah, if, uh, going back to the movie, I think you're right. His arms shouldn't be purple. I don't even think his thighs are purple. I think it was just like the um, chest area, the neck, and just his dorsal fins. So there's been five versions of it. At the top left is the uh, standard one that uh, John owns, and that came out uh, September around September 2017, and sold originally for about six hundred and fifty dollars. And and again, as you said, John, you like one reason you like this is that he's uh, like very good for uh, uh, photography. Right, and you know, and also was good for the budget as well. And uh, but uh, like a, yeah, for toy photography, it's great. You know, I can always add in post-production add, you know, um, highlights and things of that nature. Um, but overall, I mean, you couldn't ask for, you know, a, a better detailed representation of Godzilla 2016. I did want, I would have loved to have had the the second uh, the, the release with the two heads. Um, it would have been, you know, great to have the third, if, even if it was just the standard with the standard open mouth, that would have been, and I wasn't able, you know, that would have been a nice uh, release without any of the purple highlights or anything like that. Just the extra head. Oh, yeah. And then what Chief Forever has here is the uh, Shonen Rick exclusive version. And it actually came with uh, two heads. Uh, the second head is like, is, is it pretty much the same as the standard head? Yep. Um, it should be the same as the standard with the closed mouth. Um, I think in some of the photos, which we'll see later... Um, I think um, you know sometimes the the standard has a more closed mouth. Mine, um, I'm looking at it right now. Um, it does have it's a little open, um, and maybe John can uh, 
can take a quick look at his. Um, it's not it's not fully closed, but uh, it's it's closed enough that it's considered a closed mouth. So one thing um, that I think a lot of people brought up is the seam between the uh, the neck and the head. Unfortunately, it's true. It's it um it's quite bad um, for something this pricey. Um, you know, his head doesn't really stay on very well. It kind of uh, sloops down o- over time. So if you're just going to keep one head on, I personally think this, um, you know, split mouth open one is the best choice for it. And if you can glue it on um, for a permanent fix, I think that's the that's the best way. But I left it no- like untouched because I just that's just the way I am. I don't like to to just, you know, make any uh you know, any changes to my figures, but, um, yep. Oh yeah. So again, that's the Rick exclusive version. It came, that one was released around October, 2017 sold mm-hmm. for originally sold for around $700. And then in uh, about a year later, around November, 2018, uh, the roaring version was released and this originally sold for about $650. And this is the one that M M owns. Yes. So overall, so I like everything about it. When, just one thing that I would complain just a little bit uh, it is when I put the tails on. <laughs> like everybody has a problem about that. Uh. But <laughs> af- yeah, after you uh, put the tails on, everything looks perfect, like 100%. So I wouldn't have any complaint about this. So, and especially with the open mouth roaring version. So I like all the details and everything. So no complaint. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> The Godzilla store had a red version, unpainted, unpainted red vinyl, that c- came out around March 2020, sold for about $450. But then most recently, what got everyone excited, the Godzilla store also had this Awakening version, uh, but that's all purple. Yeah, it came out on November 3rd, but there was also another release, which was done through a raffle on November 27th through 28th which is how I acquired this figure. And this figure is pretty, pretty nice. Like you said, the, the scene gap is virtually non-existent, but it's still kind of there, but really hard to tell from a distance. And everything about it is pretty good, but like G forever said, it's like, um, there's some purple that I feel like shouldn't be there, but because of its like the kind of exclusivity that it is, it was all purple. But I kind of wish it was a little more red. If I if I could get another, go back around, I, I would certainly want the roaring open mouth Shin Godzilla for sure. So two reds for you. Two reds. Oh, yeah, two reds. <laughs> oh yeah, and G Forever. Which which what's the second one that I think you said already? But what's the, what's the second one you yeah, want to have? Yeah, I think. I think uh, if I can go back, I would uh, get the roaring one because um, I wanted an open mouth uh, Shin Godzilla because he doesn't really open a lot. So I wanted that version with, uh, and I wanted a red Shin Godzilla, but uh, I stuck with this guy with the split mouth. I'm still happy with him, but I think the roaring one would would uh, be a nice partner. Yeah, and M M, you so you I have the roaring version, but if you could get a yeah. second one, which uh, what, what would your second one be? Yeah, I told you forever already, so. <laughs> For the second one, if I can afford it, so it would be his version, the no. the red and purple. Boring. The awakening, yeah. The awakening, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one f- for sure. Because at the beginning, I mean, at first, I would expect to get that one. I was looking for uh, that one, and I went to the, the Facebook group, and then I asked my friends all around the world <laughs> asking wow. for that version. But you, you guys, as you guys can see, like, up the price like up their market price so it went so high it's crazy and sin- it's crazy yeah. yeah but since this one came first so i'll just take this one yeah lucky lucky you <laughs> oh, cool. yeah. oh and ben oh and ben what's your uh, pick for a second second shin- x plus shin godzilla i would probably get the rowing version because it's pretty dynamic and i like that open mouth Awesome, yeah, awesome. Cool. So it looks like the roaring one is the winner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you everyone for joining. And uh yeah, yeah it was you. it was a really awesome time. You know, thank you so much for having me. Uh it's been an honor to, to discuss the gigantic Shin Godzilla with you. Um, you know, 
it was a great film. You know, it had so much meaning to it, and it's wonderful to have some a great representation of it. Yeah. So, yeah, X plus gigantic Shin supremacy, the best X plus gigantic. <laughs> but um, I think it's one of the best X plus figures to own in general. And if anyone could <clears throat> one under a thousand, yeah, I would go for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wonderful. How, how about you, Am? Okay, so my final thoughts. Yeah, I think every version has his uh, their own unique styles, and I like everything. If I would have a chance to collect every version, so I would I would get everything. But <laughs> yeah, so overall, everything looks perfect. Um, no complaint on each one. So I like every version, especially with my Warren version. So <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. Oh, wonderful. Uh, and G Forever uh, there? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, like what everyone said, like, um, this is probably one of the best X Plus figures that right. are out there. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't really like the Shin Godzilla compared to like more of the classic Godzillas as much. But, um, you know, for for a Godzilla figure, this is very impressive. Like the, the amount of detail, the paint, the, the pose, it just looks so good. Um, no matter what, like, even if you're not a Shin Godzilla fan, it's it, it's really awesome and uh, really it's an art piece. So I think um, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's a you know it's wonderful to have in the collection. And like what Ben said, if you can find it at the original price or or like anything under a yeah. thousand, I think it's a steal. Um, it's it's just yeah. crazy how the the prices are jumping like insanely. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it's wonderful to have. And thank you everybody for joining.